let's talk 4G in India took a couple of years to roll out and we were paying really high prices for our 2 to 3 GB per month then something amazing happened this company called uh, Geo was launched by India's richest man and uh, he did something really amazing because he only launched uh, two years back he wanted to get customers he offered a free service for a uh, one year to anyone who bought a sim for free so many people uh, tried it and uh, you got some amazing speeds and when he said unlimited he wasn't joking I used nearly 100 GB in a day that's how uh, unlimited it was and that on uh, 4G just by using YouTube then they actually started uh, paid plans and uh, he surprised the whole mobile industry with some uh, amazing rates these are some of the plans you can get check out the cheapest one it costs 149 rupees that's less than two dollars for uh, 28 days you get a uh, 42 gb data and uh, unlimited free calling even on roaming these are the plans for a uh, 1.5 GB per day they also have other plans like 2 GB per day 3 GB per day 4 GB per day and even a 5 GB per day which is 7.99 or a 10 dollars 5 GB per day and unlimited voice calling all this was because of healthy competition these are the 4G speeds That's 4G. Apparently, India has the cheapest 4G plans in the world. This is my provider, Airtel. Even they had to provide such plans to stay in business. Yeah. I'm on an unlimited plan where I get unlimited calls per month and uh, 3GB data every day. That, that 3GB recharges every night. And those are the days left they also offer uh, quite a lot of other stuff to compete you get a free music service and a video service all within the plan i pay around uh, 558 rupees or uh, nine dollars or so for that i get 3 gb data every day for uh, 82 days so i pay 180 rupees per month for a uh, 3 gb data or a 90 GP per month and a unlimited calling so for a $2.50 I get 90 GB data and a unlimited calling before the new competition this is what I was getting for the whole month now I get that uh, every day I use uh, my 4G to upload videos that's how fast and reliable it is because of this company's healthy competition, India has amazing 4G speeds and uh, price. Hopefully, this will continue even with the uh, 5G. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at these uh, Kellogg's Choco Pills. Crunchy outside, creamy inside. Choco Vanilla. Looks like he's having fun. Just in case, if you thought that was uh, real, that's just a creative visualization of the production. This costs around uh, 20 rupees or uh, 30 pesos or so. It's 100% wedge. Ingredients are a uh, multigrain flour mix. It has a uh, rice flour, white oat flour, whole wheat flour, vanilla flavored filling, sugar, arabella, vegetable oil, sunflower oil, palm oil, milk solids, lactose, emulsifiers, sugar, cocoa powder, 
iodized salt and uh, vitamins. This pack has about 150 calories or so. Looks like this is manufactured in uh, Haryana, India. So let's taste it. That's how it looks. To what's on the packaging. Let's taste it. You can see the vanilla filling. The outer shell is crunchy and has a chocolate flavor. The vanilla is sweet and uh, creamy. Really nice combination. This is being sold as a snack. I think this will work as a cereal too. But I think it will get soggy a bit quicker. Quite a yummy snack. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this mini saw pour strips. It's men's volcanic mud pour strips. You get 10 in this pack. It's a formula with volcanic mud. Nice packaging. Costs around 190 rupees or $2.50. That's the ingredient list. They also show you how to apply it. Wait until 10 to 15 minutes in summer and 5 to 10 minutes in other season. This is made in China. So let's see what we get. You get 10 individual packs designed for men, deeply penetrates into the skin to lift away blackheads and uh, sebum. I don't think I have uh, seen uh, postures targeted at men, so this should be interesting. Kind of fun to have them uh, black. You can uh, wear them like mustache and uh, make funny faces while you wait for it. After reading the instructions, looks like this goes onto your skin. So you'll have a white mustache. Don't worry, I'll not give you a live demo. It works really well, but a uh, little disappointed that uh, the black side faces the face rather than uh, outside. Interesting product, quite a fun looking packaging, quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at these uh, crunchies. These are by the Mamco, very 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 real. 100% uh, grains, veggies, cheese and that's all. This has uh, grains, veggies and that's all. This is with beetroot. This is with cheese and tomato. Really fun looking packaging. Naturally roasted puffs. Corn, jowar and uh, ragi. Healthy snack for our kids. Quite a fun looking packaging. No preservatives, no added sugar, no artificial flavor. It's a vegetarian product. It's manufactured by Faraway Foods in Maharashtra, India. Ingredients are corn, jowar or sorghum, ragi or finger millet, natural cheese powder, natural tomato powder and rice bran oil. We are moms and we know what it's like to want the best for your child. That's why the mom calls a wholesome health snacks are specially made for kids but are allowed by everyone. This costs around 40 rupees or 80 cents or so. No added sugar, 
slow and steady release of energy wins the race. This has around uh, 80 calories. Our ingredients are uh, easy to read and uh, easier to eat. So let's taste these. That's how they look. Tiny stars. So let's taste these. These are uh, nice and crunchy. Has a tanginess to them. But uh, very little cheese. But I've gone a bit heavy on the seasoning. Still very tasty though. Love the color. This one uh, is with beetroot. Similar ingredients. Looks like it uses the same things. The only thing different is the natural beetroot powder. And this too costs 40 rupees or uh, 80 cents or so. So let's taste it. That's how these look. Let's taste it. These have a hint of sweetness to them. I think that's because of the beetroot. Really tasty. I think they could have gone a, a bit heavier with the seasoning. These are very, very, very crunchy and uh, quite tasty too, quite nice, check it out. Let's take a look at this IKEA lunchbox. This costs around uh, 149 rupees or uh, 2 dollars or so, looks really cute. That's the designer's name, made in China. Recycle 22 means it's using a recycled paper. So this paper is recycled. To open the lunch box, you just pull the ears. With a spacious lunchbox. To close it, you just tuck the ears. Really cute lunchbox. That's the stamp timer. This costs around uh, 99 rupees or a dollar and 50 cents. Doesn't come with a battery. Needs a triple A battery. Indicates the said hazardous substance contained in the homogeneous material for this part is below the limit requirement. O indicates it doesn't have any of these. This has a lead in it. Never seen a, such a thing. That's how it looks. It's a really colorful timer with uh, three buttons. It even has a magnet on the back, so you can uh, stick it to your uh, fridge. Takes one battery. It also comes with a instruction manual. Those are the instructions. It's pretty straightforward to use. The timer can be set up to 99 minutes and 59 seconds. To set a timer, just add the seconds and start. That's it. 
And you can uh, start again if you want. You can also add minutes, but that would take really long. You can also reset it by pressing both these buttons. Without pressing minutes or seconds, if you just press start after you switch it off, that just keeps on going without buzzing. That's a really interesting feature. So you can use this as a timer or a stopwatch. If you want to stop, just press stop. And you can start from there. Really simple design and uh, very elegant to use. And the magnet is a nice addition. Quite nice. Check it out. Let's take a look at this penne pasta. This was at a double tree in a Panaji Goa. That's how the hotel looks. This was from the in-room dining. I got some hot chocolate which was uh, really yummy and chocolatey and some penne pasta with uh, chicken and uh, white sauce you get uh, quite a bit of pasta this costs around uh, 1400 or uh, 20 dollars or so for the pasta and uh, hot chocolate combined this was such an amazing pasta. Pasta was perfectly al dente. It was cooked perfectly. And it had uh, the perfect amount of seasoning. And the chicken went really well with it. It was such a rich and uh, yummy dish. Went really well with the hot chocolate. It was a bit pricey because it was a uh, in room dining in a luxury hotel really good penne chicken pasta quite nice check it out let's take a look at this lego creator this is a three in one set these are the three things you can make it's a fun beach themed set looks like you also get a too many figures this costs around uh, 2,999 rupees or uh, $45 or so. These are uh, some more ideas. So let's see what do we get. sets of instructions that's for the beach van that's for the beach car that's for the lifeguard stand so let's build it
that's how the beach car looks. It can uh, seat two people. It looks quite cute. This is the second one. You get a lifeguard tower and a small buggy. So let's build the beach van. That's how it looks. It has a lot of interesting elements. It's quite a fun set, quite nice, check it out. Let's take a look at this filter coffee decoction. It's by Pure and Sure, authentic filter coffee in a three easy steps. Comes in a can, organic filter coffee decoction. It's bold, making filter coffee takes a while. This makes it uh, easier. This costs around uh, 100 rupees or a dollar and 50 cents. Ingredients are uh, organic robusta coffee and uh, chicory. It has uh, 24 calories. It's manufactured uh, by Pallada Agro Research Foundation in uh, Bangalore, India. How to make the filter coffee? 
pour the decoction into a cup. Recommended uh, ratio is uh, one portion of decoction to five portion of milk. Add hot milk and uh, sugar to taste. That's how filter coffee looks. It's a really strong coffee with a touch of milk. Usually it's done using these uh, dripping vessels, but that takes time. This is much more uh, quicker. So let's make some for the desired uh, amount and your uh, filter coffee is ready that's how it looks let's taste it. it smells amazing it's a really strong coffee smell and uh, tastes even better yeah. you get a really nice coffee flavor it's quite bold and uh, really tasty and this is a really fast way to make filter coffee. Quite nice. Check it out.